Radio on politics, the National Democratic Congress. That's the NDC candidate Eric Afo has won the Amemfi West seat for the ruling party. He pulled 15,809 of the 30,030 total votes cast in the by-elections. His closest contender was of the NPP who polled 13 points, that's 13, 76 votes. And the two other candidates, Mrs. Abraham Kujo uh, of the PPP, that's the Progressive People's Party, and Elvis AJ of the United Freedom Party, UFP, polled 1,032 and 113 respectively. The constituency with the voter population of 62,364 only managed to attract a 49% turnout. Now we'll be speaking with Martin E.J. Corsa. He's the director of elections for the NPP. Good afternoon and thanks for agreeing to speak with us. Good afternoon, Martin, and thanks for agreeing to speak with us. Good afternoon, and thank you now, this is the second by-election and the party has lost to the NDC this year. What does this mean to the NPP, although there were some gains? Well, the, um, it depends on how we want to look at it. The two by-elections, first of all, have exposed some significant issues. Mm. But the first one in Talency, we saw a significant drop in the performance of the NDC. We again saw a very poor turnout. And yet, that same signal has been repeated in a messy way. A constituency considered as the stronghold of the NDC, while the NDC kept so sharply reducing its performance by 9 to 10,000 votes here to the as compared to 2012. Mm. And the NPP doing the same kept about 3,000. And so you ask yourself, what is it that makes the government unable to, as it were, uh, shape up its own members to come in a by-election that is considered very crucial to them? Mm. Looking at the amount of importance that they have attached, the amount of resources that they have pumped in, roads are being tied, money is being shared, motorbikes, bikes, I mean, all the importance that government attached to it. Yet they recorded such an abysmal performance. That, for me, is the significance of this election. Now, it's not in all elections that one goes to want to win, but you have to try and minimize your loss. Mm. And that's what the NDP has done in this Now, way. Martin, what I, one would ask that, what did you do differently, looking at the gap you were about to close up? What did the party do differently, and how positive is this for you, building on what you just touched on? Well, well, well that may be a matter of strategy, but I'm not sure that it's important or it's good enough that I put it out. Mm. But secondly, we did the right things. We aimed at reducing fraud. We aimed at making sure that only people who are eligible to vote come out to vote. Mm. And our message went on the ground. We met and interacted with the people and showed our message to them. And largely, if you look again, one significant thing that I want you to take note of is the Brahman community in Ambensu West, which is a predominantly stronghold of the NDC. They won and won it massively just in 2012. Now, just in this by-election, nearly all the electoral, uh, the police stations in that electoral area were lost. Where the NDC would have been recording 200 votes in 2012, but it reduced to 36. Hmm. And so they lose, they, 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 they lost grounds. And it's still for, for me to the hard work that we put in place and some other loose ends that we tightened up. It was a dress we have now for 2016 in the case of the NPC. And I think we, we, we largely achieved our, our, our aim. Now, so we now in, 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 achieving, in your achieving your aim, Martin, there was a turnout of 49%, and which was a bit worrying for some people out there. Now, could this, if, if the apathy didn't come up, could this have contributed to your gains? And for your party, with just 49%, was this a concern for you? I mean, if the people were there, if there were genuine NDC members, what stopped them? What would have made as many as close to 10,000 members of the NDC turn their backs on their party in such a crucial violation? It is not just a matter of people staying away. It, 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 it talks for me about how bloated the register is and some other things that have gone on over the past. 
and that's for me and out. The Telos must accept every party, but the MTG managed to hold their own and reduce their performance by just 3,000. How Columbus government couldn't do so if they're not dropped by close to 10,000? If there's a low Telos in the election, it affects all the competing parties, not just one. Right, but yet, in sharp focus is the MTG's performance. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Martin J. Corsa. We're looking at um, the just ended a Memphis West um, by election.